hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I can't believe it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday today. I did. I had a wonderful one. Um, I went, I'm a little bit late because I had to go to my coffee place and get me some coffee. Mm. So good. So good, so good. I hope it doesn't keep me up later. All right. Well, tonight we're going to talk about waiting on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Ooh, what a hard, hard subject is waiting because we pray and we want an instantaneous answer or we want something to happen instantaneously because we are that instant we're that instant generation where we want to see things immediately. But that's not how God works. God does not work like that. And so sometimes we have to wait. As his children, he wants us to wait. All right, so let's jump into some prayer. And then we will get into some scripture. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. You are the great Jehovah. You are the great I am. You are on your throne and you are in control, God. And sometimes we do have to wait on you. We do have to wait. And God, in the waiting, there's always things that we can be doing. We need to be doing those things for you, God. We just praise you because you are our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter in the storm and you are our strength and our refuge, God. There is no God like you. God, you are the righteous judge that will come and judge all righteousness. And God, you are loving and kind and compassionate and caring, God. And you want none to perish. You are forgiving, God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray out. We just cry out for the lost. We just pray that you would open their hearts and their minds and their ears to the truth, God. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals. We just pray for the prodigals to see where they are and to come home, to return to you, to repent and to let you reconcile reconcile their relationship. Thank you, God, that um, we just pray, God, for people that are in the midst of tragedy, God. We just pray that you would be with them, that you would meet their needs, God, that you would, um, that they would draw closer to you during this time. We pray for people that have lost loved ones. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength, God. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Wow, I'm feeling a little sleepy. I'm glad I did make me some coffee. It was kind of like, I wasn't sure. But now I'm glad I did. Okay. So, in my song share this morning, I did on Facebook before I left out and had to go somewhere. And it is called... It's not called Wait on the Lord. Hang on. It's called Wait on You. I'm going to wait on you. And so, I love this song and message by Maverick City Music. Uh, Brandon Lake and Elevation Worship. They're all on this video. I love these lyrics. Take them in. Lean into these truths from God. Wait on the Lord and in your waiting be reading His Word. Be praying and be praising. He is busy with all the details, solutions, and outcomes. He knows how all things will turn out. He knows all hearts and minds. He will attend to things and events according to His perfect will and timing. He calls us to wait on Him, 
to be patient, to be busy about his kingdom, and to believe that he is working on something better than we can imagine. We must trust and wait on him. We must obey him also in all he calls us to do to further his kingdom. I will wait on the Lord. I have seen the miraculous things that he has done in my life personally and others too. Wait on the Lord. Sometimes waiting is protection also. His son is coming to deliver us to our Father God. I love the scripture in the middle of this song. This song is powerful. Is Jesus your Savior today? If not, call upon his name and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Come just as you are. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through his death. Burial and resurrection. Confess Jesus is your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. Isaiah 43, 18-19 Leave the old, receive the new. All right, so that is what I wrote this morning. I need this coffee to kick in. That's like half-calf, though. I have hazelnut, full of hazelnut pod, and I have decaf in there. Because I really do like to sleep. Sleeping is one of my favorite things to do. If I'm not in any pain, I love to sleep. Okay, so I found some scriptures uh, about waiting on the Lord. So I think we'll look some of these up. We may not look up all of them. The one that comes to mind uh, most is Isaiah 40, 31. So we're going to start with it. I have all this stuff on my desk. I actually cleaned off part of my desk because I just needed to think that it was organized. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall, they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. So when we wait on the Lord, he renews our strength. And he um, helps us to mount up with wings of eagles and we will run and not be weary and we will walk and not be faint so we must wait on the Lord let's go to Psalm 27 14 27 14 Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Again, a wait on the Lord. So what do we do while we wait? I think I had a lesson like this before about waiting on Jesus to come back and get us. What do we do in the meantime? Okay, well, let's go to Psalm 37, 7 through 9. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prepareth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently. Okay, let's go to Psalm 
let's read Psalms 130. 130 verse 5. Okay, I uh, wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the, is, in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Wow, that is really good. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, let's read one more. Psalms 37, 34. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Okay. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. All right. That was good. Wait on the Lord. All right. We must wait on the Lord. We must wait on Him. Only He knows all the details, all the solutions, and all the outcomes. So we must wait on Him. So let's read what... Uh, what my quiet time was about. Oh, I don't know why I get sleepy when I sit in front of the computer. Hmm. I ate a while ago. I get sleepy after I eat. Okay. He said, Child, my children must wait on me. And many get tired and give up in the wait. And I see that. I see people that get tired of waiting. The waiting works patience. And after the waiting, the outcome is great. You see what I'm saying in waiting. You see what I'm saying. Waiting is hard, but is necessary for me to see if my children really trust me. Because my timing and will is always perfect. Only I know plans and purposes of my children, of my children's plans and purposes. Of my children's lives. And many miss out on my blessings because they will not wait for what I have for them. They need to just wait and as they wait, do what all I have called them to do also. Wait, waiting is hard, but it is necessary. I am always working out details, solutions, and outcomes, child. So gladly wait on me and draw your strength from me. Praise me while you wait, child. Read my word and pray while you wait. Be the hands and feet of Jesus while you wait, child. Do the Bible study I brought you to, child. Start it soon. Um, and I said, okay, God, I will do all that you ask. Help me to get back in time for my Zoom call with Sonia. And have good questions also for her. She is such an encourager, and I love her enthusiasm. Help me to be the best at this assignment that I can be. Thank you for meeting with me today. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. 
Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. Thank you for your encouragement to wait. That your timing and will is always perfect, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient in all I ask. And get back early today also. Be ready, child, when you hear the trumpet. Be ready for the reunion. Do not be distracted by the things of the world, but see clearly what time it is, and it is soon. All beauty, peace, love, and joy. Are here, child. Be ready. Your king cometh, child. And I said, Maranatha, God. All right. Reading is not... <laughs> reading is making me sleepy. Maybe I just need to talk to you directly. Okay, so that those are the things that God wanted me to talk to you about. I'm trying to get that down so maybe the caffeine will kick in. So here is the salvation message, the invitation into God's heaven. So I have my There Is More t-shirt on. It's a Hillsong t-shirt. Now there is more, there is more to our lives than we can even comprehend or imagine the plans and purposes that God has for our lives, but we must accept his son as our savior and we must follow in his ways um accept accepting his son is salvation and it is a free gift it is something that we can't earn it is something that we can't pay for it is a free gift jesus paid it all on the cross for us he died for everyone in this in the entire world he died for Excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. Okay. God created everyone for his plan and his purpose. So this is God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. All right. So here are some scriptures that are tied to salvation. Um, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one, Romans 3.10. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5.8. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, Romans 6.23. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. So the next one is a verse about this picture that I have behind me. This is the new Jerusalem, the new heaven and the earth. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. So this is a prayer, just a very short salvation prayer. It is not the prayer that saves you. It is the belief in Jesus. So, dear Lord Jesus... I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I 
I believe you are God's one and only son. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I'll turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me glorify you. In your name I pray. Amen. Okay, so if you said that prayer, I apologize for my sleepiness. I, I think maybe I can't take Zyrtec anymore. Maybe I need to take half. Um... If you said this prayer and you sincerely meant it, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and um, sanctified through God, by God, through Jesus, his Son. So if you want to grow closer to in a relationship with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, then read God's Word and start with Matthew and also pray pray to God on all occasions pray to him pray when you're praising him for something pray when you need something pray when others need things just pray just let your requests be known and praise. Find you some praise music and praise God every day. Find a way to praise Him every day. All right. Well, it is time to do God's blessing and to pray already. And it's not even, we're not even 30 minutes in. I don't know. I'm going really fast tonight. Okay, so this is God's blessing in Numbers 24, uh, number 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance unto thee and give thee peace. Wow, we can all use some peace these days. So, if you think of any verses that go with waiting on the Lord that I did not cover, then please put them in the comments. If you have any comments, put them in the comments. If you have any prayer requests, put them in the comments. If you got saved by listening to the salvation message, then please put them in the comments. And um, I think it's time to pray. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you that when we do wait on you, God, that you give us so much more than what we can comprehend or imagine, God. And we just pray that you would help us to continue to um, be of a help to people, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And God, we just pray that um, <sighs> I am so sorry. Mm. Hmm. <sighs> okay, God, I'm sorry. I had to get off of here because I will probably really wake up when this coffee hits. But I am still very sleepy right now. God, we just, uh, we thank you, God, that you are on your throne and you are in control, that you love us, God. 
that there is no God like you. We thank you that when we do wait on you, we do get blessed, God. That when we are obedient in waiting and just doing the things that you've called us to do in the wait, God, that there is there are many blessings, God. We just thank you and praise you. We thank you for giving us Jesus to offer us salvation and eternal life, God. We thank you for that. God, we just thank you for all the many things that you do in our lives because it's not just one, it's just very many. God, and we just praise you and thank you for that. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, I am so sorry that I am so sleepy. All right, y'all have an awesome rest of your evening and awesome tomorrow. And maybe I won't be so sleepy tomorrow night. So much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.